What's up guys? Today, do, out doing a little more rabbit hunting again. My brother-in-law Scott, his dog June, and Todd and Bob, Scott's friends, and their beagles. So, getting to watch a big pack of beagles today. It's gonna be fun. Um, tried to hook my old dog hunter, a lab, his harness up to June with a GoPro. That lasted for all about five minutes. So I'm running that back up now. I already lost the GoPro, recovered it, and Scott, I think, is gonna wear that GoPro on his head. And we're gonna try to get some rabbits here this morning. Out here on public land in Michigan. Scott says it's a good spot, so we shall see. Stay tuned here with us on this episode of Feel the Freezer Outdoors. We try to get some cottontails out of the public land fields and into the freezer. Todd's right over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, here's Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Can you see his dogs or just yours? On the, uh, on your GPS? Oh, I can see a, a two of his three. Okay. Are they all close? Let's see. Well, how many are they all together? Five? Five. Yeah. Okay. You got five running. Opal. Pearl and Ivy are the veterans. They're uh, they're all a little older, and uh, top-notch dogs. Bachman beagles. His Facebook page is Minock Beagles. Boomer and Pearl are. Okay. June's just right down here, about 40 yards. Stay away from that water. What's that? Yeah. What is it? Is this. All black. Huh. Yeah. I'd rather not have the dogs get after you. Yeah, I see it going there again. It's Where is there. it? You still see it? No, I can't see it now, but I did see it just a second. I don't want the dogs fighting with me. No, they're mean. They're mean suckers. Yeah, they are. Here's Boomer getting out. That's June. That's on it? You think that she's on it? Didn't come up this high. No, mink usually stay down by the water. Yeah. That was a big mink, though. <laughs> like the size of a house cat. I thought it was one of those Here they come. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Is it? Is it? That looked different than what we saw before, but a rabbit just popped out of there and ran up here. We got all, we got four of the five. Boomer's not here. Right here. Hey, Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Get in there, girl. You see that rabbit right there? That big log? That, I think that black thing's on the other side of that black log right there. The bunny went this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was one went through there. You can tell they're cold trekking. Oh, there it is! Oh, that's a hot chase. Easy. Oh, oh. Oh, they missed something. They missed. Hey, bubble thumb. <laughs> I had my With your mittens. Over here. Yeah, they overran it. They got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. <laughs> right on the edge of the water. Yeah, right there. They went right up along that way. That's got, that's not anything in there, but. No, that's a new, that was a new one. I well, thought they were gonna run this one now. Up along that way. We gotta wait and see how it turns. Or up along that. Way. Is this just a little pond? Yeah, yeah, this is just a tiny little pond. They're on it now, aren't they? You get him fumbling with his gun? Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. You know what? I'll switch it. Problem with, with when we have these many dogs together and they're all they're, they're all competitive dogs is that they'll do what we call an overrun. So if the rabbit makes a quick turn, yeah. they'll run past it until they realize there's no scent anymore. Then you got to come back and they got to find it. And when the scent's hard, it gives them a hard time. And that's what we're seeing here. It's not that good scenting. They can smell it hot when it's fresh. We'll see if they pick it up or not. It should get better. Now what makes the sit not be as fresh? Nobody really knows. There's so many factors involved. Everybody has their own. Opinion why? Yeah. yeah I know it's, Me, I've used the. I look the... at barometer and I look at humidity. I look at whether there's frost or snow on the ground or uh, um, heavy dew on the ground. Mainly the barometer is my big indicator, but it should have been okay. I looked at it last night. But you get high winds, it blows the scent. The biggest problem when they fumble over themselves. That, that really ticks me off when that happens. Yeah. You get these young, younger, young, excited dogs, like Boomer's a big, he does a lot of backtracking, he does a lot of extra mouth. So we have to really kind of keep an eye on him. He's going to get better. He's young, you know, or she is. Well, Pearl's my best check dog. She'll stay right tight where they lost the scent and try to find it. Well, the other ones, they're more hairstyle dogs, and they start doing a circle to pick up. They don't care where they lost it at. They, do want, they want to pick up the scent wherever it went. And so they kind of do a big circle around and then pick up on it somewhere and Almost sounds like our methods of trailing deer when we hit one. My brother's always going over the blood trail and having to circle back. Oh! I was getting ready. Now, I expect it to come back right through here. Actually, it should get in front of me in case it does. He's got this side of the pond, he's got that side of the pond. Dogs just had a good hit. They're out about 150. Jumped one. Had a little sight chase. I'm trying to figure out which way it's circling back. He's mad at him. He's mad he can't lose him. He's taking off up that way now. He's in been circling all this. We're standing right here now. Mm -hmm. So he can't come back without us seeing him. But he's been circling all this up here. He's going around, now he's mad. What I call a sprint for freedom. He's taken off out of his normal circle to try to lose the dogs. Oh yeah. But now he's coming back again. We'll see him. He might be too far for the gun to reach. We'll see. This is this is this guy. I'd say 410 here, 12 gauge here. Yep. 
I got a 20 gauge. That's good. <laughs> okay, a 12 gauge. I think that let me out. I couldn't. Not allowed. What's that? Uh, you said the 12 gauge over here, and I've got a 20 gauge. So yeah. I just sit and rest. I'll just put it against the tree and forget about it. <laughs> Oh, you got this one right here? Bunny down. <laughs> I bet he was gonna I bet he was gonna cross and we stopped him because we were right here. Leave it June. Leave it. Good girl. All right, guys. So we just left that last spot. I didn't do much, a lot of talking as far as updating you on what we're doing here. But the dogs jumped one rabbit, ran it a little bit, kind of lost it. I think we saw a mink too, just before the rabbit. And then uh, walked on a little bit further. Dogs jumped a second rabbit. They ran that rabbit over five miles. Did like some crazy big circles, they're saying way bigger than, uh, way bigger circles than rabbits usually do. And uh, we got set up on it and came back and uh, Bob and I, I think both hit it and we didn't really hit it real good. It kept going and then I finally finished it off. So Bob said, I guess that one's yours. I think he was just trying not to clean it, but pulling my own trick against me here. So I got one rabbit here and we just drove down the road to a second public land spot and we're gonna give that a shot. I think I'm gonna try to get Scott to take my gun on this one and for him to shoot one and I'll videotape. So we will see if we get any here at the second spot, public land, Michigan, rabbit hunting with beagles.